Never let me go. Never let me go. I lay it all. I lay it all down again to hear you, Lord. To hear you say that I'm free. You were my desire. You were my. Thank you. Our response to a person who makes mistakes can also be a mistake. Our concern must be twofold. Not only what we do that is in sin, that is in error, but also how we respond. Because you need to forgive. You need to be forgiven. Tell your neighbor, I need to forgive. I need to be forgiven. Take to the book of Galatians 6. My friend, if a man is overtaken in any trespass that is iniquitous, you who are spiritual, restore such. Restore him, why? Considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. If you are spiritual, when someone falls, don't rejoice, restore. Tell your neighbor, if you are spiritual, when someone falls, don't rejoice, Restore. Restore. Let's go to the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse eight. Above all things, love for one another. Wow. 
above all things, love for one another. Love does not discuss sin. Tell your neighbor. You know the meaning of that? Come. Do you know he's a drunkard? He's a drunkard. Hey, he's a drunkard. In fact, wow. I saw him. He's a drunkard. He doesn't sleep at home. Wow. Uh, he's a drunkard. Because I have no love, he has no love. That is why he's listening. If he has love, he will know that love does not discuss sin. If your faith is lifted alone, let you see your hand. Love does not draw attention to sin. Jesus clearly linked faith to forgiveness. The reason forgiveness is so important is that relationship does not involve two perfect people. There is no such thing as a perfect. Tell your neighbor. There is no such thing as a perfect. Those perfect people don't exist in this earth. People make mistakes. Even if you are a Christian, even if you are a pastor, our response to a person who makes mistakes can also be a mistake. Our concern must be twofold. Not only what we do that is in error, but also how we respond because you need to forgive and you need to be forgiven. Say to yourself, hmm, I need to forgive. I need to be forgiven. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Love is far from many of us here. You say you love, but you don't practice love. By your action, by your day, your character. No, no, no. Love does not discuss sin because you need to forgive and you need to be forgiven. As I have said, that our response to error, our response to mistake, our response to trouble can also be a mistake. Now, when I stand with this man, I say, ah, he's a drunkard, he's a drunkard. I too am a drunkard. I've made a mistake. God has written us into an unprecedented and revolutionary story of reconciliation in which hostility are destroyed, in which hostility are destroyed, and 